Hello, everyone. And welcome to Saturday. Yes, welcome to a oh. what's old Saturday, as per usual on a Saturday morning. Well, yeah. I guess it's morning for us, for you yeah, guys. For you guys Saturday Saturday morning. Morning. We have some sales for you guys today. Just a couple. Nothing spectacular. No. I would say that we're kind of continuing on the trend of the past couple weeks. Obviously, mm. this must just be like the vibe for the beginning of the year when it comes to sales is like... Yeah. Nothing to complain about, but nothing to write home about. Like, the sales Very were mid. not bad, Very mid. but they weren't great either. Yeah, I think I have an ear infection this week, so I have been, like, no time on the internet. So my sales reflect that. But I still made a couple of little people bought something. Yeah, kind of like, kind of like last week. It's like I have a very respectable amount of sales, but none of the sales are like super, super high dollar. There's some mm -hmm. like higher dollar ones, but nothing like crazy. Yeah. And like in the end, my gross and net are very like respectable but nothing that I'm gonna like go bragging about yeah. or be mad about. So exactly. very, very similar to last week. Mm -hmm. I do have some eBay sales too. eBay's been doing pretty good lately. I feel like mm -hmm. same thing, like steady, nothing crazy. But, yeah, I'll get a couple. But I'll makes couple it worth cross posting too. Absolutely. Mercari has been really, really slow where I feel like in the past couple weeks I've had like a good flow of Mercari sales. I don't know if I had any new Mercari sales this week. Nope. And then, I mean, Depop, I never have anything anyway, so. And one on Depop. Before we do that, though, our Valentine VIP of the week, and this week we have, insert name here, because I, I don't know this person's actual name, their YouTube account doesn't have their name, and their Poshmark doesn't have their name, but I have their username. So their username is Seaside Garments. So this is their oh, closet right here. So pretty. It is at, here's a, here's a long one to spell, S-E-A-S-I-D-E-G-A-R-M-E-N-T-S. -E -E but of course, you don't have to type it in yourself. They'll no. be the first link below. So go check out Seaside Garments. They have all kinds of very interesting, very fun, very nice things. So I did see some Mew Mew in their closet. I saw some Brunello Cuccinelli, which- Ooh, <laughs> that's an expensive that's one. On Ryan's, that's on Ryan's search list for 2024. R13, they had some mm -hmm. cute Sundance. So we kind of like, we cover all the bases, including the Y2K and vintage bases. Yes. This is kind of like a closet that almost like combines like my and your selling aesthetic. Oh, yeah. There's like the I luxury and the high end, but then she has some really, really good Y2K. Like, she had this Ooh. Abercrombie and mm -hmm. Fitch. I think it's in the screenshot. Abercrombie and Fitch, like, <gasps> the micro. little micro mini skirts. Little, I like, mini looking skirt, yes. and it's marked at 125, but it had, good. like, 15 likes or something. Oh, yeah. So, you might even want to just pop over there to learn a thing or two. So, yeah. go check out Seaside Garments. There's a lot of fun stuff to look at in their closet. They had some, like, vintage lingerie. Ooh. Very right. Yeah, vintage lingerie. Yeah. So, so well. So, why don't you do your de pop de pop first, I suppose. Okay. My Which, by the way, one. this is the week of the 10th through the 16th. I don't think I said that yet, yes, but that's, that's what we're at. I, <laughs> a lot of you noticed that I accidentally mess up the dates and the titles a lot. <laughs> and that's because it's easiest on YouTube to copy all your info from, like, an old video. So I usually copy, like, the old What's Old Snap video info for week. the new one. And, like, I change, like, the, the Valentine VIP, and I mm -hmm. change, like, everything else in the description. And the last thing I do is the title. So... I forget sometimes. Oops. So thank you to the people that within like the first hour are like, Jack, your dates are wrong. <laughs> the dates are I from last you. week. Yeah, you, you are fighting that. a good fight. Thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, but 10 through 16th for this week. Okay. My one on Depop was in the vein of skirts, an express Y2K distressed tiered micro mini ruffle skirt. This had 31 likes and it sold for $23. That already had 31 likes. Did you just get that in your last, the haul that was just you and I was reacting, mm -hmm. right? That already had 30. 31 likes. The micro mini skirts, man. I'm nervous because that's 2010 for me. 2010. 2010. 20, what was the other 2010s thing that was like just. I will say back? though, here's what I'm going to do. If that comes back into style, I'm going to be one of the TikTokers that recreates things from 2010 because I lived it. Mm -hmm. I was there. I've even heard rumors on Instagram that the Gucci belts are coming, the Marmot Gucci belts are coming back, which. I argue that those have never I, fully disappeared. You are gonna pry that belt I from my cold, those. dead hands. Yeah. I have a brown one. I love oh, it. I was gonna say, speaking of 2010s, but no, actually, this movie's from like 1999 or 98 or possibly 2000. I don't know, but do you guys like not my, my new? Yeah, not 2010s. This is my Y2K fashion for the day. Do you like my new Godzilla vintage tee? This is from this, this is from Posh. I have had it liked for a long time, and finally, the person sent a low offer. I actually had seen it on the 
Urban Renewal website, but they had it for like 250. Cause it was like an authentic vintage one, but <laughs> so is this. It just happens to be a boys t-shirt, but it fits me, so. Nobody's gonna I'll know. I'll take it, yeah. Nobody's gonna know. Fun fact, Evan, my brother, if you don't know, is obsessed with Godzilla. He's a Godzilla So too. he had to see this shirt as soon as I went over when oh, I was wearing absolutely. it. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Okay, so let's do eBay, I suppose. eBay. eBay. I like eBay, it is just really fun to call it that. Yeah. <laughs> I will start off with mine. And first up is a new leg and look brand. And this seems to be a very obscure one. But if you haven't been around for a while, we do have a local leg and look boutique mm -hmm. that is very high end. It has all kinds of really so weird, expensive. really obscure. Like sometime if we went in and like did research, we could probably make an entire leg and look bolo video. I think she of it. would like kick me out. But of the she might cast some kind of like wicked moss witch spell on us or something. Everything like, I touch just turns to like a linen blend. Yeah. Ooh. Or you like like touch things and they turn to toads or like mushrooms grow at your feet when you walk like i don't know it's me. kind of a scary store it's kind of it's but I, weird. I assume this is from there and i had this bin strip it was one that i didn't film anything from not even a haul and i found like a bunch of lag and look like really weird obscure brands so i'm kind of like dabbling and seeing how they do this one was mm -hmm. called winter sun and this was more of a lag and look and art to wear there is a difference kind of confusing if you are or know the lag and look slash art to wear people what's the difference art to wear what's i feel like difference? is a bit more like graphic and colorful is it i don't know where's lag and looks i don't know so this was a flannel color block shirt and like that's it it sold for 30 but it sold within like two hours of listing so i guess this is possibly know. even though i could not more. find almost anything else from this brand anywhere but the brand is winter sun i found one of them and the brand was three potato Here it is. Oh, <laughs> so I still my have these in here. This is art to wear. Suddenly, this is like a haul. Three potato. Three potato. <laughs> Let me show you the name. Let me show and tell. There's no tag on the upper part. It's also printed like a wish shirt, I feel like. I didn't know if they were telling me that this garment was made from Three Potatoes or like if this was the brand name, but sure enough, I looked up Three Potato and they're a brand and they're sold at the boutique. Woo! If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. Do you think they have like a Lux line called Four Potato? Oh my God. Three <laughs> Gilded Potato. Three Tomato. <gasps> Three potato. Anyways, now that we burned potato. away like 10 minutes Oops. on the winter sun like and look. Next up, I sold this Ralph Lauren Denim and Supply chest patch bomber jacket. Sold for 30 and the buyer did pay shipping. Both of those so far have sold through their promotion mm -hmm. and I love selling Denim and Supply. Oh, it does so good. good. Then, not sold through promotion, I sold this Sundance printed wool alpaca pullover sweater. I just found this in the bins like last week and it sold for 41 It was really cute. It was wool and alpaca and it also was XL which Sundance sometimes suffers from the like you the only find small extra curse. small yeah. stuff. So mm -hmm. I think that's why that did good. Then mm -hmm. I sold this Patagonia Men's Performance Better Sweater hoodie and it sold for $35. And that's great because I can't sell Patagonia that well anymore. I think Patagonia is definitely an eBay moment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I sold last for eBay this Paul Smith Color Block Wool Knit Pullover Sweater. I got this actually thinking that Ryan maybe would want it, but he didn't. <sighs> it wasn't colorful it was enough. Cute. That's it's it. Not colorful enough. No. Close, but no cigar. Sold for $55.76, so that's fine. I'll take that. Yeah, Paul Smith is definitely a men's bolo brand. This was, I think, the PS by Paul Smith. But when you're reselling it, I think it doesn't really matter what it's line it's from. Paul it's kind of yeah. just like it all, it all is kind of the same aesthetic. Okay, my first on eBay was a fun little sale of this Nordic wool button fair aisle vintage cardigan. She said, is there anything wrong with this? And I said, nope. And then she just bought it right out. $60 plus buyer paying shipping Didn't on that you just one. sell something just like that? Yes, like I last did. week on Depop or eBay? Something. I swear. Probably. Like some other Nordic one. All the Nordic sweaters. Yeah. They tend to... Winter is... Especially the L.L. Bean ones. Do yeah. so good. Mm -hmm. Then I sold this Trilogy Rose Hip Oil Antioxidant and Rose Pen. Some, 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 some. These are tinctures and potions. I listed them as expired, <laughs> like you're supposed to do if you list little makeup y things on eBay, and somebody bought them for $18. These have been sitting in this room forever, and I've Are been they like, still in here? No, probably. I don't think they are. I think they're up in the closet over there. <gasps> and I've been like, what? 
are these? What's happening with them? Where did they come Empire. from? Where are they going? When are they going? No. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Bye. And then my last on eBay was an international sale. It was the Banana Republic black tinsel belted trench dress sold for $30 and I will make something. That was really cute. That was a really cute one. Okay, so moving on to Porsche Mark. Port Mark. Like, like I said, it was the 10th or 16th. So on the 10th, I had two. Four. Haha, <laughs> scissors beats paper. I win. What do you, I got two pairs of scissors. No, you can okay. paper. <laughs> So my first sale was actually from my own personal collection, and it was this pair of Farm Rio Anthropology Graphic Block Print Pajama Shorts. They sold for 30, I get 24. I think I got them at a TJ Maxx for like eight or nine. Yeah. And I don't, they were like soft, nice summer shorts, but like I, I have, have, a, lot I have a lot of pajamas actually. You do have a lot of pajamas. I have a lot of pajamas and like I just don't need more. Yeah, that's very And nice like, one. I think I prefer the more like cotton, like not a sturdier pair of pajamas. cotton pajama yeah. shorts yeah next up i sold this free people te amo floral embroidered bell sleeve dress sold for 35 i like get 28 that's one of those styles that i just call like classic free people where yeah. like i feel like it's timeless mm -hmm. staple it'll sell at some point even if it's not doing that great and that's Absolutely. what happened with that yeah my first on the 10th was a lovely bundle to the Miss Dawn. Thank you, Dawn. She got the Dawn. Miss Dawn. She got the really adorable butterfly mini crocheted cross stitch and the Disney Star Wars Baby Yoda Grogu character backpack. Are you sure this isn't Janet? No. <laughs> Shockingly, no, this is not my mother. Sold for $40 and I will make 32. Then I sold this pair of Halflinger and I did not spell these right on my title. I called them Halifiger? Half. Half, half linger. Half linger. Uh, what is it? I don't know. Half linger. Half finger. Linger. Oop. Navy blue wool Mary Jane slip-ons. These sold for $47 and I get a $37.60. Good sale. Then I sold this Coach Disney Mickey yellow skateboarding little keychain. I love the Disney keychains. I'm just not a skateboarder. You know, he it's, wasn't it's a not authentic boy, to who I am as a person. So he said, see you later, boy. Bingo. <laughs> Sold for $42 and I will make $33.60. And then my last on the 10th, this is an outlier. Don't think everything from this brand is going to sell for this low. Do it. Arcteryx, orange, white, plaid, Melody, a button down. This was just a kind of a really basic run of the mill women's button down. Most of the other stuff from this brand does a lot yes. better. It makes a lot more money. Sold for $17 and I get $10.02. Like with Patagonia and North Face, all of those outdoors brands, like it's always the outdoor stuff that does yeah. better. And Arcteryx is no like it's outlier. No exception. It, the coats yeah. do phenomenal. The basic stuff. Yeah, like I one time had a T-shirt and it had the logo on it, and like I couldn't sell that to save my life. So it's just no. like that that type of stuff doesn't do as well. Yeah. On the eleventh, I had eight. Good point. I think I might have sent twenty percent off this day. I've almost like started like once a week. Kind of doing like 20% off everything. Clear out. Just yeah. so, yeah. The people who already got the 10% can now get a lower price. So, this was a good one. And this, this was, was given This was given to me by Ryan. Because he does like to sell this concept as well. But I don't think as much as me. And he doesn't yeah. have as much luck as I do. So, yeah. it is a J. Crew Liberty London collaboration. Which y'all already know. I love. This was a printed Georgia dress. And I think it is good to put the whole name into the Liberty J. Crew stuff. Because mm -hmm. the name is the liberty print and liberty has their own like signature in-house prints and i think mm -hmm. people look for them specifically so this sold for a hundred dollars i think i got it for like 10 or 15 yeah j crew clear i was gonna say ryan got it from like an actual j crew store in des moines yeah. and he tried it for like a, a year Couldn't at least it. don't know why and no. i did for a hundred and i get 80 so that's great. Then I sold kind of a similar thing, but this is a jumpsuit. A Rebecca Taylor Viviana floral printed jumpsuit. I'm so happy this actually sold because this was so pretty, even though beautiful. Rebecca Taylor does awful. This sold for 71 and I get 54.78. This is from that really good bins haul that I had like two, three weeks ago. Mm -hmm. I am considering at some point, maybe like six months down the road, doing like an update to that one. Mm. Because I think finding out how much I got from that one haul would be interesting. That'd because be already I, I sold so much of it. I'm not so good bin, so <laughs> then Ooh. I sold this Anthropology Moth Pleated Open Wool Cardigan. This is the one that was in a haul and I was like, Ryan hated this when I found it for some reason. And I thought it was kind of cool because it's like pleated. I had comments that agreed with me, so. But it did only sell for 15. So tell us who's right. <laughs> and I get 998. Then I sold this J. Crew Rare Wool Cashmere Blend Blazer. 
This sold for $45, I get $33.98. I loved this like raspberry yes, color. I love a berry color. Oh, they're so It'd pretty. be good for like a winery in the fall yes. or something like that. Then I sold the unique vintage Dolores Sher Sherry. 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 Cherry gingham dress, so freaking cute. Suddenly like this for a week, I found like two or three unique vintage pieces. Don't know why. I'm so mad. Not mad about it because I love that brand. Sold for $53 and I get 40 38 so that is a great sale. Then I sold the Aloe Acid Wash Airbrush Blue High-Waisted Leggings. Just found these, I think, when we went together mm -hmm. into the bins. Yeah. Sold for 31 I get 22 78 sold in less than a week. So again, Aloe and Vori are like the only surviving athletic brands. Absolutely. That like you can rely on. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you have to be really picky with like pieces and oh. yeah. Then I saw these Zadig and Voltaire David Black Denim Button Fly Jeans. These were actually men's and they sold for 30 and I get 24 and I would have loved to get more, but men's is just like hit or miss. Yeah. Like you can never the like- plain jeans don't really do that much. Yeah. Then, one of my new fave brands, Ever Eve. This was the Lexi Metallic Lurex Puff Sleeve Sweater. It sold for 24 and I get 17, 18. And the person said they love it and it's beautiful. So that's, that's great. The Everlane stuff, man. Everlane. Everlane. Ever Eve. I mean, Everlane I'll take as potato, well. Potato, potato. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they both do great. Okay. So. My one on the 11th was a Victoria's Secret black Swiss dot lace little lingerie thing. Sold for twenty dollars. Hey, so and I make I don't know what the difference is. And I feel like I should because I sell so much of it. I have no Those, idea. Those like cami corset things, I don't really know what they are. I don't know if that's a negligee or is if that's a, a teddy or I some know. of the stuff I'm like, is this a slip or is this that's just an question. intimate top? Like <laughs> That's a good question. So I call all of it just generally lingerie. Right. If you didn't know, Ryan and I are not experts in female lingerie. No, I we am, haven't had the most experience in no, our lives. I'm no idea. Yeah. No idea. I will make 1302. Yeah. So on the 12th, I had three. One. First up, I sold this Longchamp Le Pliage Tan Nylon Zip Bag for 41. I get 29.82. I found this in the bins really recently. I think it was the same as the Lag and Look haul. And it was very dirty on the inside. Washed it and it cleaned up like that a they freaking clean up so charm. Well. I think it even had spots on the outside, but this thing cleaned into being nearly new condition. Yes. So happy I picked that up. Then out of nowhere, I sold this Anthropology. Dina Floral Color Block Midi Dress. So for 40, I get 32. That was my full asking price. I've had it for a while and I love when that happens. I love out of nowhere. Price, you're like, thank you. <laughs> thank you for helping. Then I sold the Vintage Eel Skin Black Laptop Briefcase. You guys remember I just had this in a haul recently. Mm -hmm. I priced it at 50 because I wanted it to move quick and mm -hmm. someone sent me 25 and I it was a very like gambly experimental find. So I was like, sure, take it. Take, take yeah. it for 25. Sold for 25 and I get 20. My one and only on the 12th was a Y2K indie, a multicolored bohemian long sleeve jacket in the same vein as Rising International, mm. but not quite. This one sold for $27 and I will make 1862. Nice. On the 13th, I had five. I had one. Paper. Laser beams. <laughs> uh, my first one was actually from my own personal collection as well. And it was this Gucci snake garden green and white embroidered tee. I got this on the real real for like really cheap. It had been mm -hmm. marked like way down or something. Never really wore it. It was like a very thin t-shirt and I'm just not. I don't believe in thin t-shirts. Not in I'm so sorry. Yeah. No. Uh, sold for 200 and I get 160, but I definitely still made more than my money back on that. Then I sold this Chubbies, the Quest's Ultimate Training Shorts. I love selling Chubbies. Honestly, of all men's brands. They do really good. Filson's probably my fave. Arcteryx is up there, but like Chubbies is really high up. Mm -hmm. Every time I have it, it sells within a week, basically. It's so good. So yeah, sold for 30, I get 24. Then I sold another Sundance sweater. This was a Fair Isle Lambs Wool Pullover sweater. It sold for 36 and I get 26.78. Then I sold these Valentino Logo cutout red espadrille slide sandals. I had just listed them the morning that they sold. So they sold for 200. I did have them priced at good. I think like 395. So it was just about half, but again, I just listed them. And Valentino of all the luxury brands is a tricky one to rely on. Mm -hmm. It 
Again, very hit or miss, so I was happy to take that, and I get 160. Then I sold this NYX Soft Pullover Black Bra. NYX is like a pretty expensive bra brand. One time I found two of them, and I think this is the first time I've sold it, so it's still probably not like the best thing to pick up. Yeah. Sold for 15, I get 12, but I probably paid like 10 cents at the bins for that, so Perfect. that's okay. My one and only on the 13th was a Sundance White Marceline Boho Embroidered Dress, sold for $25, and I will make 20. On the 14th, I had two. I had one, again. <laughs> my first sale was my Mother Weekender Frey Flared Fairest of All Jeans. F -f 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 too many, too many Fs, too many Fs for what? Sold for 110 and I get 88. And if you've noticed over the past three Wilson Saturdays, I happen to stumble upon three pair of white mother, white jeans. mother jeans. Each week I sell one, but now I'm out. So that makes me really sad. We and have I, to go get more. I wish I had an unlimited supply because they've been shockingly doing really good. Then Melanie popped into my closet and you'll never be able to guess what she bought. It's so unlike her. I ball. can't believe that she did this. It really caught me off guard. It was kind of crazy. She got a coach bag. <laughs> so Melanie, so cute. Melanie got a coach scout top handle green zip hobo tote. This might look very familiar. This was on the Tuesday video when we went to the big together sold for 40 and I get 32 there was like a small scuff on it but otherwise it was literally brand new like even some of the zippers were like covered in stuff. so mm -hmm. thank you once again Melanie still want to see that collection oh I need to <laughs> still, I still need to see still the, need the Melanie YouTube video of like my entire my coach, coach collection I made a guest house out of coach bags love <laughs> my one and only on the 14th was an urban outfitters cropped gray floral little jacket sold for 24 and i get 1920 on the 15th i had none i had one my one rock, rock beat stick it does rock beat stick. <laughs> my one and only on the 15th vintage 1970s japanese cream floral kimono sold for 28 dollars. i make 1942 and on the last day of what's on Saturday, the 16th, I had four. I had two. My first sale was a pair of Spanx. They were the Spanx, Spanx. faux leather high rise leggings. They sold for 25, I get 20. Again, I think the thing with Spanx is just it does not have that much value. You gotta anymore. price them low. So still worth hurts. getting, but price them at like 35. Then I sold this pair of Airy Sunwashed Desert Jogger Canyon pants sold for 18 i get 14.40 i've had those for a long time but they always get a bunch of likes so it's good. been hard for me mm -hmm. to like get rid of them because i'm like i mean they're gonna sell at some point yeah then i sold this lululemon seek simplicity active tank top this was a great size um, for lulu so that's okay. why i listed it because you're probably like why would you list a tank top from Lulu, of everything. Very true. It was a size 12, so it was a really good Lulu size. It sold for 35 and I get 28, and I think that was my full asking price, and I also just got it this week, so mm -hmm. that was fantastic. Good. Then I sold the Fossil Large Leather Top, Top, Top Zip, oh. Top zip tote. That's what that is. So for 61, I get 48.80. Got that along with good Melanie's bag. coach. So those bags are doing pretty good. And that is it for my push mark. My first on the 16th was a vintage 90s indie pointed hood patchwork hoodie. This one sold for 25. I will make 20. And then my last on the 16th was a Disney character 1996 25th anniversary little mug. Sold for 15. And I get 12. Nice. So my gross for this week, and this is only counting Poshmark sales, was 1,310. Mine was 310. Wow, weird. I know, isn't that funny? And my note was 1,048. Mine was 248. I think I've had that as a net before, 1048. And then I always mix it up with, what was that app that was so popular in like, 20, high school? Oh, 2048. 2048. <laughs> Speaking of 2010s, oh 2048 is going to come back and oh, everyone's going to be so. playing it again. Well, I love 2048. You always used so to play fun. knockballs. I play knockball. I still play knockballs, man. I love it. I'll get it. If I'm bored at school, I'll get a. I'll get a round or two in. Yeah, we met up with my friends last night at a brewery and we were just talking about Facebook games. If anyone remembers like Facebook games like Farmville oh my gosh. or the Facebook like quizzes. 
Oh, that they always Lord. had. That Facebook quizzes. Oh, that was like, we'll guess your zodiac sign based on these ten questions, and it was always <laughs> like wrong anyways. Like, why did we just to like know. feed our personal info out to everyone? I guess like. I don't know. Oh, now that have, time. Now they have all our data because we needed to know we... what type of pizza am I? Literally. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> That's worth compromising my financial future. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, rant over. So that's all that we have for you guys today, but coming up this next week is something fun on Tuesday. I haven't decided yeah. yet. I have a couple things filmed or ideas rolling around, so we'll see what it's gonna be. And then on Thursday is gonna be part two. Yes. Part two, part two, part two. I argue the better part of the haul that is yeah. both of us, and definitely the longer part as well. Get excited for that. Lots see of, you then. Lots of good finds coming. That is a good one. That'll be a good video. And we will see you guys when we see you next. Goodbye. Goodbye.